Now let's understand how to create a truth table for any given compound proposition. Okay, for that we have to keep in mind one result which is for a compound statement. Okay, having n primitive propositions, having n primitive propositions, the truth table is going to have two raised to n rows okay is going to have two raised to n rows so just like over here all these are compound statements okay and how many primitive propositions are they having they are having two primitive propositions p and q therefore they have two raised to two which is four rows in the truth table row number 1 row number 2 row number 3 and row number 4 okay so if you have an expression let's suppose you have expression something like this you have not of p and q okay then you have or of this with q and r okay and you finally have a implication of this okay then in this compound proposition you can see you have a p okay then you have a q this q is again repeated and you have a r okay so you have three primitive propositions therefore you can say that it is going to have 2 raised to 3 equal to 8 rows okay so let's try to create a truth table for this we already know the rules for creating truth table for and or my disjunction or conjunction or my implication so i can very well create a truth table for this proposition let us see how first i am going to list down all the primitive propositions okay so i am going to write p i am going to write q i am going to write r okay so these three together are going to have eight set of values okay so let us give them values i can give them values like this okay true false true false true false and true false okay something like this you can do they in this primitive proposition you can repeat true false one times okay over here you can repeat every two times 1 1 0 0 or true true false false true true false false and over here you can repeat it every four times okay so in this way you can create a truth table okay listing down the scenarios or listing down the possibilities for your primitive propositions okay so this is the all set of possibilities for your p q and r over here your r is true and p and q is false over here over here your p is true r is true but q is false so we are going to see for all these possibilities what is the truth value of my this compound statement so for that first i am going to find out what is negation of p so let's do that my negation of p i am going to write over here okay 